There is nothing I love more than an amazing meal with high quality meat cooked at home because let's be honest, eating out is so expensive. And you also know that eating out is the number one budget buster. That is why I am so glad I found ButcherBox. ButcherBox is a premium meat subscription service dedicated to delivering high quality, grass fed, and grass finished beef, organic chicken, pork raised crate free, and wild caught seafood directly to your doorstep with free shipping always. You even get exclusive member deals, recipes, and a variety of high-quality cuts at an amazing price. New users will receive their choice of two pounds of ground beef, three pounds of chicken thighs, or one pound of premium steak tips for a year. Use code ETM and get $20 off your first box at butcherbox.com. Last night, we made a beef stew with meat from ButcherBox, and you can taste the difference. It was so satisfying and delicious. And all of our friends that were over for a dinner party, they raved at how good it was. So do yourself a favor and eat better this year with the best meat and seafood on the planet delivered to your door. ButcherBox is offering my listeners their choice of a weeknight meal essential, three pounds of chicken thighs, two pounds of ground beef, or one pound of premium steak tips, for free in every order for a year. Plus, get $20 off your first order. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash etm and use code etm to choose your free offer and get $20 off. When it comes to financial advice, you got to trust the source. It's why you listen to this podcast. When I'm looking to upgrade my wallet, I turn to NerdWallet. Their expert team of nerds dives into the details to help you find smarter financial products. Before NerdWallet, I was paying for vacations all wrong. (laughs) I was missing out on miles. I didn't even know I was leaving on the table. Now I've got a new card with more miles and more upgrades. What could future you do with more travel rewards? I don't know, maybe that fancy hotel upgrade that you have always been dreaming about. Wherever you go next, make it happen with a smarter travel credit card. Don't wait to make smart financial decisions. Compare and find smarter credit cards, savings accounts, and more today at nerdwallet.com. NerdWallet. Finance smarter. As with all cards, credit is subject to lender approval and terms apply. Hey, I'm Shauna Compton Game. This is Millennial Money, and today we're talking stretch your holiday dollars with Rays. Millennial Money with Shauna Compton Game. It will expand your brain. All right, so we're like T minus two days to Thanksgiving here, T minus three days to Black Friday, and you have to have lived in a bubble to know that the holidays are sneaking up. I think faster than than we think. I mean, I can hardly believe it is already Thanksgiving. It, it feels like it was just like July, like last week. I don't know about you, but it, it just is like, I feel like I'm like an old person saying like, you know, the time is going by so fast, but it really is. It's just crazy. Anyway, if, if, if you're the average consumer, right, I know that you're looking for ways to make your dollar go farther. I know that I've received a lot of different uh, emails from people listening to the podcast. Please keep them coming in. I love hearing your emails. I love hearing your tips and your success stories. But, you know, a lot of people are feeling stressed out this holiday season. I know that there's so many people listening that are on, you know, variable incomes and, you know, having to deal with kind of the 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 flux of income and and not having a ton of money right around the holidays. And then I know a lot of you have um, either gotten laid off from your company or are doing job changes. And it's just kind of a stressful time, I think, for everyone right now. Uh, so I just, I wanted to bring you, you know, this holiday season, a lot of different tips and ideas and apps and tech and tools and, and thoughts to really inspire you around the holiday season, around your spending so that, you know, you can really have kind of an action plan when you go into the holidays. But I have to say probably one of the smartest money moves that I can talk about, which I know to be a fact 
because I've seen it in action with a lot of what I would call kind of savviest and wealthiest people that I've either worked with or that I've studied or that, you know, I've just had the privilege of seeing kind of how they have grown their wealth over the years. It's that they're always trying to find a way to enjoy the things that they like to do in life, but for less money than most people pay. And, you know, again, I think this is like a rather simple concept and everybody's like, yeah, well, of course I would love to do the things that I, that I love to do in life for less money, but few of us actually take the time to execute that in our life. But I think the key is here. You know, they don't just stop there. They don't just stop at trying to find the things they like to do for less money. They take the less money that they would have spent and actually apply it towards a goal, right? So it's actually getting routed in some direction. It's not just sitting in the bank account because I think what happens is, I don't, not I think, I know what happens When you save money, whatever that amount of money may be, right, on something, maybe you get 50% off or, uh, I don't know, you know, whatever it is around, particularly this time of year, that money then just goes and sits in your bank account and then you use the extra money for something else, but it's usually for some other purchase that isn't furthering your financial position. So I think that's how, you know, come, come like New Year's, a lot of people are really stressed out, like looking at your credit card bills going, uh, wait a minute, I spent how much, you know, that wasn't my intention. And you, you know, you certainly can't go to like all your friends and family and ask for the gifts back so that you can get the cash back. You just kind of have to, you know, deal with it at that point. So The whole point of it is that, you know, everything adds up and you really be surprised at how fast you can pay off student loans or save for your down payment for your house, even create some distance between those paycheck to paycheck months or those really tough, you know, variable months. If you're an entrepreneur, if you just start taking like a few extra minutes and really devise a strategy behind everything that you're spending your cash on, right? I like to say it's the enjoy, save, and then apply, right? So I'm enjoying the thing that I like to do. In this case, it's shopping, right? It's holiday shopping and all of the mad sales are flying at me left and right. I know I shared with you uh, on the podcast yesterday how I got sucked down like the tunnel pipe of buying something and then getting all of these additional emails. I was just laughing today because I went and opened my email and there, there were three more emails. And the hard thing is, is that the deal kept getting better and better. So I think the moral in that story is like the longer I wait to purchase something else, the bigger the deal is getting, right? It's like they didn't get me at like 30% off. They didn't get me at 40 or 50. Now today I'm like up to like 75% off and I'm like, well, if I wait another day, are they going to give me like 100% off this item? I mean, it's just, it's crazy, you know? So I just have to like sit and laugh. All right, so so we enjoy, we enjoy our item, right? And then we save, we're saving the difference that we would have paid And then we're applying it. And this is the, this is the like third step where a lot of people don't make the crossover is then applying it. Like, look, if you've got student loans and they just feel like they're not inching anywhere, you know, if you found an extra $25 or $50 or $100, whatever it is a month that you could route to your student loans without having to earn a single penny more, you would be surprised at how fast you can knock down those student loans. I mean, the same thing goes again, like if you're trying to save for a down payment or for something or, you know, afford a big purchase, all of the uh, little extra money helps. Or even let's say if we're going to save money in our in our Roth IRA or, um, you know, we want to up our contribution in our 401k, right? So if we can find this money in our bank account, because it's there, it's just waiting for us to figure out ways to save money, then, you know, we're really winning the game. And honestly, I swear to you, it is one of the smartest money moves that I have seen people make. And, um, you know, again, having a lot of money isn't about spending 
all of the cash that you have. It's about finding really smart strategies around that money so that you can not only spend it the way that you want to, I mean, within reason, right? Like everything is within reason, but then you can actually stretch it as well. And I think a lot of us go into the holidays and we just, we spend, 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 and we haven't just, stre- we haven't stretched in the right way, right? We've stretched in the wrong way. Um, and then it just, you know, we roll into the new year again with like all of this undue stress and ex- anxiety. And that's what we're trying to avoid as, as best as possible. There's always going to be some of it. And I participate right along with you. I mean, I, you know, I can remember years where I have totally overspent at the holidays. And then I just was like, all right, well, it is what it is, you know, just move on. And that's the best you can do. I mean, the worst thing you can do is actually just like fixate on uh, what you spent because then there's just all sorts of negative ramifications that happen there. But I was recently turned on to a company called Ray's. They uh, coined themselves as the savviest way for shoppers to save money. And this is one app that seriously is going to have a permanent place on my phone. Um, I've already started using it. And um, I'm, I'm actually like giddy with excitement of how much money I can save. So it's a mobile app that saves shoppers money on purchases when you use discounted gift cards at you know, all the favorite retailers that you like. There's 3,800 of them on the Raise app. And you can also sell all of those unwanted gift cards that you get from people, you know, that, that bought you something that have no idea what to buy you. You know, there's there's always like like an office party or a relative that just doesn't know you very well and they buy you a gift card and you're like, I don't even shop at that store, <laughs> you know, and then you're forced to like go in and just buy something because they got you the gift card. So now you have a place where you can sell those gift cards to other people who want to buy them and immediately get the cash in exchange for that. But what I love about Raise is that, you know, I, I was just looking today. I mean, there's you know, whether I want to go to the movies or I want to go out to eat um, or I want to go shopping, you know, there's a retailer that is within my vicinity where I can buy a discounted gift cards. And some of them I got really excited. I don't know about you guys, but um, we love the holiday movies. Like we're, you know, we're kind of like foaming at the mouth because this is right around the time when the movies get like really good. And I was looking and there are gift cards from all of the movie places that we that we normally go to. And some of them were at like a 12 to 20% discount. Like that that's starting to be real money. And um you know, I think that this is such a cool idea. So more than 2 million users already use Raise, uh, and their service has saved them more than $140 million to date. That's a lot of cash, right? So as George Busis, the 30-year-old co-founder and CEO of Raise, explains, you can use Raise to shop smarter this holiday season and be left with some of that cash. Basically, like we're all like superheroes, right? We're outsmarting the holiday shopping system one gift card at a time. Millions of people have lost weight with personalized plans from Noom, like Evan, who can't stand salads and still lost 50 pounds. Salads generally for most people are the easy button, right? For me, that wasn't an option. I never really was a salad guy. That's just not who I am. But Noom worked for me. Get your personalized plan today at Noom.com. Real Noom user compensated to provide their story. In four weeks, the typical Noom user can expect to lose one to two pounds per week. Individual results may vary. Millions of people have lost weight with personalized plans from Noom. Like Evan, who can't stand salads and still lost 50 pounds. Salads generally for most people are the easy button, right? For me, that wasn't an option. I never really was a salad guy. That's just not who I am. But Noom worked for me. Get your personalized plan today at Noom.com. Real Noom user compensated to provide their story. In four weeks, the typical Noom user can expect to lose one to two pounds per week. Individual results may vary. Listen, if you've been using Mint to manage your money, I have got some news for you. First, the bad news. As you might know, Mint is shutting down for good. But the good news... Well, there is a way better alternative that is a personal favorite of mine, Monarch Money. And I'm not the only lover of Monarch Money. Many Mint users are turning to Monarch Money and just raving about it. I used to manage my money with an Excel spreadsheet. I know, so archaic. And it was so time consuming. I tried 
all of the apps, but I just didn't find one I liked until I found Monarch. And I've got to tell you a secret. Monarch is so easy to use with a very intuitive design. You can even collaborate with your partner and you can customize Monarch for whatever your needs are. Monarch is the top rated all-in-one personal finance app. It gives you a comprehensive view of all your accounts, investments, transactions, and more. Create custom budgets, set goals, and collaborate with your partner. And now get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to monarchmoney.com etm. Let's go back to the collaboration bit. Because we know money is a leading cause of divorce and breakups, Monarch has built in collaboration features so you can invite your partner at no extra cost. You can see all your finances, make a budget together, get insights on your cash. Yes, cue the confetti. There will literally not be any more arguments over money. And if you've been frustrated with personal finance apps that are cluttered with ads, difficult to use, or rarely updated, so was Monarch. They built a new kind of personal finance app that's intuitive and powerful ad-free, and constantly improving based on customer feedback. Monarch has a tool that allows you as well to easily import your data from Mint. You can keep all of your tags and all of your categories. After trying Monarch for myself, I understand why it's the top-rated personal finance app. And right now, get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to monarchmoney.com slash etm. That's M-O-N-A-R-C-H-M-O-N-E-Y dot com slash etm for your extended 30-day free trial. We've all spent more time with family lately. It can feel like old times, but your mind is on the future too, and what you can do to shape it. At Sandy Spring Bank, we work with clients to help them grow and protect their money with wealth management, trust services, and insurance, so they can enjoy today and ultimately pass along their wealth. We believe real banking is a conversation. Let's talk about your dreams. Visit sandyspringbank.com slash wealth. Wealth and insurance products are not FDIC insured, not guaranteed, and may lose value. Yeah, you know, it's about shopping smarter. Um, you know, what we found is that uh, our, our customers were really using gift cards that they were buying on our site uh, to use on everyday purchases. And so we realized that there was something really big here that we had a few years ago. Um, and over time, as, as we continue evolving as a business, uh, we've actually seen uh, more than $140 million saved to date. Um, by individuals like you and I using gift cards to uh, fund everyday purchases anywhere and everywhere we're going. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, I think gift cards are a really popular thing that people give out at holidays, especially when they don't know the person, you know, they just, I'll get a gift card. And I think the cool thing too is it's not just a place where you can buy gift cards. It's also a place you can sell maybe those gift cards you got from people that you're not interested in. How does that work? Yeah, that's exactly right. So um, what we actually found is that the gift card business is massive. Um, you know, it's it's the most given gift around the holidays for birthdays, for um, milestones like weddings, graduations and whatnot. And you can imagine that not every time we're going to get it right <laughs> with what uh, we all want. And so we actually provide that flexibility to list a gift card for sale, very similar to the way, uh, you know, a StubHub or an eBay or other marketplace platforms work. Uh, you essentially would list a gift card for sale. We would verify the balance of that card. And as soon as it actually sells on the marketplace, those funds are deposited right into your raise account. The good news is that most of the cards that are listed on raise, because they're, you know, slightly below face value, there's a big incentive for the buyer to actually purchase that card. And so we're actually seeing that most of these cards uh, are being purchased within 24 hours, which is good news for the seller because they now have newfound money that they didn't have before. So it's a great way uh, to turn those cards into cash. Yeah. And, and does the seller set the price or do you guys set the price depending on the retailer? How does that work? So the seller picks the price. Um, ultimately, we, we actually provide some market data on what those cards are selling for um, to help you know educate the individual. Um, but we actually give that, provide that data, and you actually pick the price. And now from there, and then from there, uh, the card would sell, and, and you would have the money available. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. So you also talk about, you know, how people can use Rays to plan ahead to prep for the holiday shopping, you know, without going broke. What are some of those tips that you have of how people can use Rays to, you know, save a ton of money? Yep, exactly. So again, I, th I think what it comes down to is, you know, not only financial responsibility, but shopping smarter and using the tools that we have around us. The reason why we think gift cards work so well is, is not only is it a way to pay, it's essentially cash. And so uh, what we recommend is um, that you really understand what you're looking for. 
Um, and then from there, pick a brand or a store that you might be interested in that has those products. Um, and if, if that's not the way that you shop, uh, we actually see that, you know, many individuals have specific stores that they always go to. And so they might be stocking up on cards. They know they're going to make a purchase in, in, in the future on. Or if there's an item, when you're actually at the store, if you have the Raise app, you can purchase a card and it instantly gets delivered to your phone and you can use it right there and then at the point of sale system. So we integrate today with thousands of, of uh, retail systems offline. And so there's, there's really a ton of flexibility here because the majority of all the cards are electronic today, uh, about 96% of them. Uh, so you can imagine how easy it is to actually use one of these cards when you're at the store. Wow, that's great. So you could be, you know, like shopping at Target and, you know, be spending $50 and be able to purchase a gift card right there and save, you know, I don't know, 10% or 12% or whatever the, you know, the savings is right away, right? Yep, that's correct. And so, you know, when we understand what you're buying as well, we can give you tips uh, or send you notifications on, you know, for instance, alerts whenever there's a card that's, uh, you know, recently sold at a higher price or is available or if you're by the store or sending notifications to remind you to use the card that's in your wallet. So we really see it as the wallet of the future uh, and, and really the wallet that makes your money worth more everywhere you go. It's not just about convenience. We believe that it's about value. And so, you know, you can imagine that if you're getting 5, 10 or 20 percent off at all your favorite stores, why you would use Raise before you make any purchase anywhere. Yeah, because I mean, that's some significant savings, you know, and if you're doing that at almost every store that you, that you shop at, you know, that starts to become some real money in your bank account. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we're we always fascinated um, and amazed by the stories that we hear all over the country of, you know, uh, the mother with her with her children saving money on, on every day, you know, necessities from food to gas to, you know, all those things to, you know, um, home improvements, uh, you know, to transportation, to ordering in food, to the movies with the family. Uh, I mean, it's amazing to hear all the stories we've heard over the years and how much money we're actually putting back into people's hands, um, you know, that, that they rightfully deserve and need to use on, on the other important things in life. Yeah, that's awesome. So you also talk about a term that's kind of new to me called deal stacking. What is that about? Well, you know, uh, it really comes down to just, you know, like we said, shopping smarter and looking and understanding what's actually readily available. So where there might be sales or or other discounts. Um, but, you know, the reality is whenever you're using Raise, you're saving on everything and anything that you're buying. So essentially, you know, it, it's the opportunity to use Raise as a payment platform, and as a payment source. It's, it's pretty much an alternative to cash or credit um, to, you know, buy things for less. Got it. Wow. Awesome. Perfect. Any other uh, great tips you have for people, you know, shopping this holiday season for how they can use Raise to, to save some more money? Yeah, sure. I mean, there, there's a whole ton of features that we've built into the wall and there's only more that are coming that we're so excited about. Um, but, you know, there's a great discovery platform where we're seeing, you know, so many individuals, you know, trying out new brands and new things uh, that they wouldn't have normally gone to because there's, a, you know, a great discount available at that store or educating, um, you know, the customer on stores that are within a certain proximity or, or within a certain location of where they're located. Um, and so there's, there's a bunch of ways that you can use the Raise app um, to shop smarter. But, um, you know, we're, we're really excited about all the new features and all the new things that we're building, you know, throughout the holiday season and, and, and after the holidays. And, you know, we really hope that everyone uses the Raise app going forward. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, it, it seems like, you know, to be able to kind of zero in on somebody's location and help them like figure out ways they can save money is is so powerful. Like it, it really does change the app into something, you know, that that helps people like save, you know, large chunks of money and, and figure that out. So that, that's awesome. So did you originally come up with the idea for Raise or how did that start? So I did. Um, it, it was kind of this this little period, you know, after, after college, I was working at my family business, we're in the grocery store business and was really trying to solve a big issue, which was, um, improving the overall experience while eliminating a lot of the friction. And what we have seen is that there were so many things that we had to manage between coupons and discounts and cashback and rewards and loyalty points and offers. And it, it adds so much friction, not only from the customer experience, 
But imagine from, from, from the retail side of having to integrate these things and keep track of them and better understanding like the P&L and whatnot and, and its implications. And so I actually thought that gift cards was not only the most scalable and easiest way to you know generate retention and loyalty and acquisition uh, via payments, but you know it really resonated with our customers. And so you know it, it was something that I really wanted to start testing in our business and did a little research on and realized that it was such a huge space that was wildly inefficient where the only person that was really thinking of how to use gift cards as a loyalty and acquisition play was Starbucks. And you know that was in the really infancy phases of that program where you take a step back and, and, and fast forward now five years later, and you know that represents nearly half of all their transactions. It's their, it's their greatest loyalty um, uh, offering that they actually have. Uh, when you walk into a Starbucks today, if you go to pay with cash or credit card, you know everyone's looking at you awkwardly. Who like, is what this are you crazy doing? person? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and so if you think of Ray's, it, it, it's almost kind of like the Starbucks app all in one for all the retailers. And so we're helping you keep track of those, you know, balances and, and, and sending you notifications. So, you know, I, I, I thought of the idea in 2011, got it off the ground by early 2013. And, uh, you know, it's been just amazing to see the, the brilliant and incredible people that we've recruited that have helped me build this amazing business. Yeah. And I would imagine that, you know, you keep scaling right with different different retailers and keep adding different retailers as, you know, kind of the customer base changes too. Yep. So there, there's been about 3,000 retailers, a little more than 3,000 featured to date on Raise, uh, but we're actually now partnered with close to 500 brands. Um, and these are the biggest brands like Dell and Overstock and Hotels.com and, and, and many, many others where now our retail partners themselves are actually selling their currency directly on our marketplace um, not only to drive loyalty and retention and, and really um, further help drive attention to their brand, um, but they're really partnering with us in, in a ton of ways to improve the overall experience that, that, that individuals like you or I are having in stores. Yeah, that's great. I love it. Awesome. So tell listeners where they can find Rays so that they can take advantage of all of these awesome deals. Yep, absolutely. So you can uh, visit our website at raise.com um, or you can download our apps, which are both available on Android and iOS in the app stores um, and, you know, uh, have a way to take your savings on the go. All right. I'm ready to save. Who is with me? As always, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Shauna Game. And if you love this podcast, do me a favor, share it with your friends, shout it out on social media, and head on over to the link in the show notes and leave us a review. Whatever you're saving up for, a CD from Sandy Spring Bank lets you grow your savings at a guaranteed rate. Right now, earn interest at 4.5% APY on an 8-month CD special or 4.25% APY on a 14-month CD special. Learn more at sandyspringbank.com slash CD specials. Minimum opening deposit to earn the annual percentage yield is $500 for the 8-month CD special and $2,500 for the 14-month CD special. Member FDIC. Hello, Saver. Whether you're saving for that trip to the tropics or saving for an emergency, now is the time to take advantage of Wells Fargo's savings options. Wells Fargo offers savings accounts that can help you save towards your goals. So, what are you saving for? Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com slash save to open a savings account today. Wells Fargo Bank N.A. Member FDIC. 